Hey everyone, my name is Eric Casey. I'm a travel vlogger here on YouTube and I like to go on some amazing adventures to some places around the world and spread a message and spread positivity and encourage you guys to do the same. So today's vlog is going to be awesome. Hope you all have an amazing day. And I'm going to list the top five most amazing places, unseen places you should visit in rural Virginia right now. So number five on the list, we have Mike's Gap. It's about 20 miles on average from Interstate 81 and about the same to 77. It's about a few miles up some amazing trails with mountain lower trees on both sides. And the view is pretty great up there. I actually went the back way from the other way and it was pretty cool. And as soon as you walk up into the place, it's just a pretty square little primitive camping spot. And I think you guys really like it. You should definitely check it out. And it's pretty hidden as well. So number four on the list, we have Bourne's Branch Trail. It's about the same distance from both interstates, and the road to get to it is pretty amazing. It's pretty cool, nice, relatively flat road to the beginning of the trail. You turn in and it doubles as a horse trail. The one that I went on, it's about a few miles, probably only about four, just like my Gap, but it's a loop trail. And there's a trail that even goes even further I haven't been on yet to probably a pretty cool stream. There's an amazing view at the top, like you see right here. And yeah, pretty cool treats, pretty cool branch and stuff like that. And you can do quite a lot of stuff on it. And you could probably have a little pit net back in there. And you can probably bring your horse, horse trailer and stuff. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. So I definitely recommend Morton's Branch Trail. So number three on the list, we have the Ivanhoe River Bridge on the New River Trail. This is what, probably one of my favorite places of all time. Mainly because it's a little bit closer. And it's probably just a few miles closer to the interstate. And it's a pretty amazing place. And it's a pretty nice trail. I think guys are really going to enjoy it. And it's a pretty long bridge. And there's a branch down there, as you can see right here, where you can go fishing. You can bring a horse on it. And you can do other stuff as well. There's also like a horse and showground grounds at the end, a little bit further down. And then there's a reservoir, like I have in this bonus clip right here. And yeah, I think you guys are really going to like the Ivanhoe River Bridge. You can probably do anything you want on it, and it's probably not even that much further. I think it's only like three miles around a turn to the actual state park grounds. And it's pretty nice. I highly recommend it again. And number two on the list, we have Comer's Rock. This is probably one of my most favorite places I've ever been to this past early 2018, and I highly recommend it. It's only about a few miles up some pretty winding, sharp turns, some pretty crazy roads. <laughs> It's pretty cool. The one way you get up to it, which I went, the gate's closed off. The gate was closed off there. And uh, you're not really supposed to bring a passenger vehicle up there. You're just a standard you know, vehicle with a passenger because it's a little bit sketchy. But there's a better way to get to it. If you go the other way, which leads up to a place called Hell Lake, which is going to be probably number one on, the, on my list, that's the better way to get to it. But you walk up, you drive up to it, and you park, and you walk up some a few stairs, and there's a 360 degree view at the top and it's absolutely amazing. You would feel like you're on top of the world and I highly recommend you going here because I don't think many people in rural Virginia have seen it yet, not as much as like more touristy spots. And I highly recommend it. And I think you guys are really gonna be surprised because I think it's the best place on earth. And there's campgrounds at the end, there's little campsites and stuff and picnic tables. You can have a cookout there, a barbecue, you can probably even bring a horse and stuff like that you can bring your kids and it's fun for everyone and finally number one on my list is a place called Hale Lake it's only about one mile up to Comer's Rock if you're uh, starting at Hale Lake then if you're going the other way if the gate is open it's about one mile down and yeah it's a pretty amazing lake it's pretty hidden and you can go fishing on it it's a pretty cool trail that goes around the back side and you can park over there. It has a cool little facility and little area you can buy a picnic at and stuff. And again, it's fun for all ages. And you can probably bring a horse as well, probably. And it's pretty amazing. It's a pretty cool lake. And you can probably take boats on it and canoes and stuff. And you might also be able to scuba dive. I'm not too sure if you can uh, keep the fish or not. But yeah, it's a pretty nice lake. It's pretty hidden. And it kind of looks like a movie. And I think you guys are really going to like this place. Because Commerce Rock is just right up the road. <laughs> That's why it's number one on my list. And I highly recommend it again and encourage all you guys to go here to Hell Lake. Maybe this spring. I won't even get the chance to. And yeah, as you can see from this clip right here, my mom really enjoyed it. 
So yeah, guys, I think that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is my top five list of places you should visit in rural Virginia. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So please remember to like this video and share this around with your friends for whoever that may be really interested in this. And also check out my other vlogs right here. I also like good ones. And please subscribe for my next one because I think you guys are really going to like it. <laughs> Probably going to upload it in the next few days. And also subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next one. Peace!